Writing a chat is not a complicated thing until you write it in assembler. But today we will use Twisted Python to write our own chat. In the last episode we created our first client which simply receives data, prints it and then sends its own data back. And we should provide some data in our input. But today we write chat. And I'll go to my server.py and I'll call method called dev initialize, so dev init. It's a method which is called constructor and it's used when our server factory instance of our server factory is created. So these brackets are dev initialized brackets. And I'll create empty list called self.users. And that's all. Okay, and when our protocol is built, for example, when client connects and we should create new server for that client, I'll pass self.users to our server protocol. And in server, we should call a method called dev init and provide users and self.users equals users. So, when our server factory is created, an empty list called self.users creates. And then, when our server is created, for example, when user or client connects to our server, and we need to create an instance of server, because in Twisted, for every client, there is a server. Mm, yeah. And when our server is created, we provide self.users to its parentheses. So, and in initialize method of server protocol, we link self.users to our users, which was created in server factory. So self.users, it's a list which contains all of our clients. Okay. And when connection is made, I'll simply append, uh, append our server to self.users. So append and I'll provide self. Self is a link to instance of object. In our case, it's server and we provide link to the server. So to object which is created and self is that instance of server, that concrete instance of server. And we append our server to our user's variable. Okay, and when our data is received, I'll call for user in self.users. And instead of self.transport.write, I'll call user.transport.write. So all of our users will receive some data which was received by our server. And that's all. And now we can look how our clients interact with each other. So I will run server.py, and then I'll run client first and client second. Okay, client first is connected, and it says hello from server, because when our connection is made, we send hello from server to that specific client. And for example, let's write hello one. I send, and we receive hello one. But let's have a look at our second client. I open second client terminal and I can say hello from server, but um, we send hello one and that bunch of data has not been received yet. Why? Let's have a look at client.py. In client.py, we use self.transport.write to send some data back. And as you can see, we use input here. And input is a blocking function, which waits until we provide some string to it, and then it writes it back. And if I will call, for example, hello2 and press enter, I will receive hello1 because my input um, worked and then my data received was called because we sent some data from our first client and we print data and then again we wait until input um, is filled with some data. And from my point of view, it's wrong. Why? Because when you type something, until you type something and send to server, you cannot receive message from another user. And it's not how chat works. So yeah, and as you can see in the first client, we received only hello one. But if I write, for example, hello three, I receive hello three. And hello two is not received. And that's a huge problem. And now we'll change our client.py to work correctly. So I'll close my terminals and I'll create new function, which is not provided by twisted. It's our, our own function. And I'll call it send data, for example. And it requires only self, so only our client protocol. And then 
I will copy self.transport.write, copy, and I will pass it or copy it or paste it <laughs> to send data function. Okay, and what I need to do? I need to create thread which is used for sending our own data. So uh, I can create thread everywhere, but it's better to use it in initialize method because when our, our client is built, it's supposed to read some data and send some data back. So, okay, we'll do it in self-initialize. And Twisted has its own API to use threads. And in Python, we use, in Bayer Python, we use threading uh, library, but in Twisted, it's better to use its own functions. So I run Reactor. And why? Because Reactor, as I said in the first episode of Twisted programming, it's an event loop in asynchronous programming. And if we use threading, it's bad, very bad, because we should use Reactor for all of our events. And for example, data received is an event, build protocol is an event, but send data is just our own function. But we can look at it as an event. So, okay, now I'll run Reactor dot call in thread. It's function which is built in Reactor, so yeah. And you can see that my ID, mm, that common thread has yellow background, but it's because PyCharm, ID PyCharm, is not used to twist it. I don't know why, but you can look for some extensions and the uh, common thread will be as normal as other functions. So, okay, and I will provide only function. So self.sendData, because we want to call in thread our send data function, because, because input is blocking our main loop, event loop, so reactor. And when we call something in a thread, our app divides into first thread, which we will listen our data, and second thread, which will mm, listen for our input and will send data back. Okay, but another thing I should do is while true. Because when our data, if I not use while true, we send our data once. But if we want to send many messages, we should provide while true, because it's just better. <laughs> because while true will be run forever. And yeah, that's all. Okay, reactor common thread, send data. And I will remove prompt from input because it will appear in random places in our client. And I don't want it now. But later we'll write user interface for our client. And okay, now I should again run my server. Then run my client. Uh, not server, but client, and another client. Okay, as you can see, hello from server, hello from server, and new connection. Um, okay, now let's write some data in. For example, hello, we we'll write, and let's have a look at client number two. It receives hello. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Everything works correctly, but I will create Okay, but I created Windows terminals and I run my clients with command cli uh, pyclient.py and another client pyclient.py just to show you how two clients interact with each other. For example, I, I will send hello, um, hello, just hello one. And as you can see, hello one appears in uh, second client's terminal when I send it from our first terminal. And for example, hello two. Hello too. Everything works correctly, but there is an issue. It uh, later we will write our user interface for our clients, and it won't appear. But for now, I want to show you that when we send uh, our message, for example, I send hello one, and input saves its data in our console or in our terminal, and then uh, later we again receive it and then print it. and And I think it's not so pretty. So what I will do. I will go to my server.py and in data received I will call something like this. If user not equals to self. So when we append our user to self.users list, we append self. And if user is not equals to self, then we don't send our data. And I will show you. I open up my terminal and write py client.py. Another terminal, pyclient.py. Hello from server, hello from server. Everything works fine. 
So hello one, and as you can see, hello one appears in our console. But oh yeah, hello one appears in our console because I haven't reloaded my server yet, and it works with our old code. But when I will reload it or restart it, I'll go to my terminal. Uh, I'll close my Windows and run again pyclient.py and py client.py. Okay, and now as you can see when I type for example hello one, hello one doesn't appear twice. But when I go to my local for console, I can see hello one. And it works with every data, so hello two, it does not appear twice, and hello two in my local free terminal. And that's actually all. So what we created? We created protocol, server factory, uh, self.users, and if you haven't seen my first episode when I explain factories and protocols, you should see it because it's heavily connected with every other lesson in twisted programming. Yeah, and we simply code thread in our client, just not to block our code with input. And that's all. As I said, chat is very easy to write until you write an assembler. Good luck.